information. And you get the silicon index portion. Here in this case, I don't have the silicon index photos, but you see that uh, mock-ups were there uh, immediately. Because patients say, okay, I just use the rubber tap and start the treatment. And then I remove the mock-up. As you see here, very minimal prep on the buckle side. But there was a fracture here. I need to remove that part. But the prep on the buckle side is not so large. I don't make a large prep till the cervical area. So this is maybe the thing that I can mention is the minimal invasive way of treatment. The class for restoration. The palatal shaft without any voids, air bubbles. And you see that proximus were defined well, so layering will be easy. And then opaque dentin, which is AO2 just to have opacity, just to increase opus, overall opacity for my restoration. Then the dentin. Please see that these are the extension, but not only the two dimension, but also the third dimension. Bacopalatal thickness is issue. If you underlayer, it means that you will have lots of room for enamel. means that you won't be successful. So if you overlayer it, you will have no room. So you should be more or less in the exact area. I mean, if it's underlaid, you will have a great result. So this is after final uh, layer with the enamel and with some small polishing. And when I remove the rubber dam, you see that because of dehydration, it looks white. Well, we need to see it in the following days, maybe three or four days later. And this is 50 days recall. I didn't like the result, so I need to do some modification. The modifications here were just, you remember the strawberry picture? When you add some texture here, especially on the 1.1, what you will have, you will have more bright, more high in value appearance. Means that from different angles, I need to create some texture together with plastic, it will look light. And this was the case. I add some texture. Now it looks more like. So other pictures with different white balance. And initially, and then after one year, I had the station. And he was a young patient and happy with the result. And uh, this is the video that I keep here just to show you if you have a class five or a repair thing. Because sometimes you have a air bubble or you need to change some part of yours or you have a flat file just using one shade like an enamel shade and then you can just try to adjust the composite and you can move it to different directions but as you see here the metallics metallic instruments are not that useful as the sable brush so working vertically you move the composite, you try to balance the thickness and uh, you try to give some uh, concavity, uh, not the convexity, just to make it more realistic and appears. And before final curing, you need to add glycerin gel, otherwise, the surface will be not that uh, well polarized, and finishing and polishing will, won't be that easy. And then, after final curing, you have a uh, surface that you can give some texture. For that reason, you can check the texture with the articulating paper and add some texture again. You check it several times till you are satisfied with the shape. And then, when you are happy with the shape, you can go on finishing and polishing because this is the surface that you create some scratch with the burr, then you, you need to get rid of this scratch of the burr with the rubber instrument, which is uh, possible with the uh, Amalgam Romeo or Shoffo Vanlos, a heavy rubber. First, I need to finish instrumentation with the burr. You see that every time I, I work with the articulating papers to see the texture, because when you work on something white, especially under the uh, powerful reflector, you don't see the surface that well. So I use 
the colors of this articulating paper, and I also try to observe the retention of that color. When I use the uh, rubber instrument, it means that I'm checking the retention of the uh, articulating paper. It means that if I make it more smooth, if I can smoothen it, it has the less retention of color. So I continue. Something went wrong. Uh, it stopped. This is a long video, so I will skip it. And now I will show you a case. In this case, you will see what I've done after removal of the I will repeat that part. For example, a case like that is a class five, okay? It's a very easy case, but the problem is the discoloration or the staining. Means maybe the reason is not etching enough the margin of the restoration. I don't know, but the problem is it needs to be repaired. So again, using the composite. In this case, I just removed all composites carefully and then after removal of this composite needs to be etched maybe this etching it was from 19, uh, 2015 or 14 uh, maybe I need to etch a little bit more because not to have the leakage I should admit that and then after etching it needs to be rinsed and after rinsing, now if you have the dentin, which is each one there, then you need to be careful about not to over dry, otherwise you will desiccate the dentin. Then you need to be careful not to over dry the dentin. And then application of bonding material and application of then you cure for sure, then application of the composite. These are very close-up images. Every time there are risk of remnants of the microbrush bristles, and also you have some stains there. This is possible, some plastic deposits, and you need to remove them and see that you cannot blend it on the surface. So for that reason, I use a sable brush. That's why I'm using a sable brush, to just blend on the surface. And you see that? With the brush, you have some vertical lines because I find that after final brushing, I immediately cure. At that time, you can check the irregularities after curing with the articulating paper. Then you can remove the uh, scratch with the heavy rubber, and then the surface is ready to be polished. For polishing, I use two instruments, gold hair and felt disc. Uh, first, I start with the felt disc. Uh, if I don't have the felt disc, I can use the plastic brush. They work the same. I use, let me say, felt disc, uh, sorry, gold hair disc. Uh, I use first gold hair disc or the plastic brush. Or uh, then I go with the felt disc. First, using the diamond paste, you see that uh, you, the lines created with the stable brush were gone. Now it's easy to for final polishing. This is the felt disc after plastic brush. And then this is the final polish. So from this view you can see what's wrong because it shows everything. Let me show you the front of the image before and after. You see that no visible margin. And uh, this is also something like one week recall, not the immediate post-op, because in the immediate post-op they look high, uh, I mean, you can detect the dehydration. Another case, I, I think two more cases here. I have only 30 minutes left. Yeah. This is a case that I've done together with a friend of mine. She just reattached that part and sent me a patient because she couldn't find this part, because 
the best tool for treating the tool is natural tool. So series attached that part, and I need to mimic this uh, lab with the other one. So this is this was a temporary actually. First, I need to remove the before I remove the temporary. This is the shade selection: dark tinted, medium tinted, light tinted, and the enamels were placed, and then. I understood that this is the best option because when you have three options like that, you just try to use the best matching one. And this is the option when you have a young patient like that, you never use dark anymore. So uh, this is uh, this was my selection, light enamel. The palatal shell was prepared, and then you see that all that palatal shell. The dentin is laid, but something is different here. It's very bright. It's the pain. Is the they call it intensive color, and uh, because there is something very opaque and white on the adjacent tooth, and the enamel is covered over it. And this is the before finishing the final layering, and you see with different uh, light adjustments. And you see that I had some texture. This is the repair part. And you, here you see this picture. I tried to create some lines. Means that having some texture together with luster makes it line. So this is after one big recall. You don't see that problem, but see that the gap here, the bit, and see the canine. This is after one big. And uh, another picture after one week, but I made a very nice finishing on the proximal. So I, I, I was sure at that time that there would be everything perfect about this triangle. And then after one month, nothing was wrong because I had a respect to tissue. So the canine is still not developed for sure. In one month, doesn't doesn't go that fast. And another picture, you see that texture is present because whatever you do that. Without the texture, no artificial. This is the key. You need the texture, plus 